Hello, and welcome to a Friday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. And uh, a big happy birthday to my sister tomorrow. Anyway, it's 9.59pm on Thursday, October 7th in New York City, meaning one minute until the Friday crosswords. Got beat by a few folks yesterday. In a three-way tie, we got Bill Boris, PB Geckner, and the Glorp. So let's call it a win for Bill Boris alphabetically first. Uh, I tied with Murray Unicorn. Then we had Rudwick, Mar X, Erotangos, Stickers, Emmarina, KFS Venta, Lydian, and Tonomad under 30 seconds. After that, we had Joe Obi, MA17, Pandaguchi, A plus B, Osmond, Hoopla, Namgo, Andrew, Jaywoo, Lil Sun under one minute. Right after that, we had Panda Doggy, ERL, Intaro Tuna, the Duke Priest, Kimball, and good old Chenny. Anyway, it's now 10 o'clock in New York City, meaning we should have some Friday crosswords. So here is your spoiler alert for the Friday Mini. If you would like to play along, all I have to do here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini is always free to play. Today we got a full 5x5 grid. Interesting. All right, let's do it. Uh, class has to. Other steer Teddy. Nice. Okay, I thought this might be ghost. I just need the glass to confirm. Latte. Sure. Lately, I've been ordering cortados. Thanks to <laughs> thanks to Oreo and John, I think. Ashed. Wow, interesting. Using it as a verb when you get the ash off of your cigarette. We have Steed and Sorry Not Sorry. Kind of nice clue. Anyway, now for the main event. That's the Friday Daily Grid, which is by Jakob Jonas today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here. Click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Epiphanies, not straight. Is it windy or something? Ooh, boxes, blank choice words, not sure. Bud, more than enough. How far are you counting this home to Mere Woods? Gosh, I want to say Marin County. I don't know. Great Plains Tribe, is it Oto? Pax. Spanish pronoun, head in slang. This is Tulane, maybe. Iota, a smidge? No. Spoke to a judge, say. Maybe fled? Homemade headwear for kids? The pirate hat? I don't know. Time to eat. Lead into the stat. Ballpark figs. ETAs? ESTs for estimates, actually. Dos Equis. Groups receiving our children magazine. Okay, it's probably, I have mistakes to <laughs> get into, hub container, hmm, the F, this is force, ACL tear, moderate pace of trot, tankard, so it's not pirate hat, I guess pirate hats don't necessarily need to be homemade, object or object, like many fancy party, Musician on the cover of Rolling Stone often. Is it Teen Idol? This is Rita, right? Rock Idol, maybe? 25 across on Earth in brief. 1G. Superfood. Smoothie bowl topping. Chia seeds? Rat party stunts. Keg stands. Mr. Rose Marshmallows. Fire pits? The gasp does work there. This is Odin. Nice. Okay, well, we got made that. One hoop next to screw caps, say. Some like it dirty. Martial arts acting Steven. Seagal? Is it? All there. Sane? It's spelled like this. A bit too articulate, perhaps. Prefix with technology. Okay. Some like it dirty. For I heard at a shoe auction, question mark. Per diem stipend. Like bell peppers on the Scoville scale. Mild. Shortening used to many recipes. 
Ormento for a certain hybrid feline Liger and Lard there, Washington, but not Jefferson. Ooh, state. Previous right triangle ratios. Signs? Epiphanies at the end. Into insult. So this here, like the answer street of 37 across. I? Yeah, that's T tax there. This is mad. WMD. Uh, satchel page. Spelled like this, I think. Classic gag gift at a bachelor, bachelor party. Uh, sex toy. Sold. I see. Earned is one here. Okay, let's see. Mendeleev, Dmitry Mendeleev, there we go. I'm back. It's me again. I think it's state. Probably not Liger then. Oh, teaspoons. It's a Tigon. And teaspoons because it G shortened it. Okay, previous prior. Epiphany's eye openers. Bud mate, maybe? Be in dark competition, go toe to toe. Sweet there. Moo because the jersey's like cow. Challenger Deep, okay. Iota. Time to eat. Let's dig in, could be. Is it attorneys? Get into. Hmm. Nanotechnology or something? This could be thing, I guess. Lib here. Wine snob, I see. Dirty martini. Uh, something hats. Catered here. Access. Yeah, you like you access a thing. Paper hats is what it is. PTAs. And probably ERAs for earn run averages. Aerostat, okay. Is this is this teen? Not straight. A tilt or something. More than enough. Okay. Ooh, okay. An iota. Aha moments. That seems like it could be it. Ample here. Like hitting a million dollar jackpot. Not straight. Improbable. Because this might be a tilt actually. Tomato soup. And homie Marin lilies. There we go. Wow. That actually went by pretty fast given that I had no idea what was going in the Northwest till the end there. I think the aha moment was the aha moment. Um, yeah, so I feel like that could have taken me longer than it did. Uh, got kind of lucky, I think. But closing and ending with epiphanies here. It's interesting. Aha moments, tomato soup, and improbable. It's me again, go toe-to-toe, -to -toe and eye-openers are pretty nice. I'm into that. Aerostat. It's a lighter-than-air aircraft that gains lift to the use of a buoyant gas. It's a pretty obscure way to clue arrow, but arrow is not a horrible prefix. It's like a prefix people definitely know. Yeah, lilies, sure. Yeah. Teen Choice Awards. I always thought the Teen Choice Awards were a Nick thing. Actually, Fox? They are actually Fox. Ah, uh, Nickelodeon has the Kids Choice Awards. I see. Okay. Yeah. This force was basically the first one I got. It took, it took a while to get there. a sum by a special relativity inherit. Ah, I see. Wow, that's cute. You inherit a sum of money because you're related to someone's 
you're specially related to somebody. Obtain a sum by a special relativity. That's, that's quite the clue. Curse you, Tegan, sure. What is a screw cap? Oh, like it's, it's a wine bottle that unscrews. See, a wine snob might only drink wines that are good enough to have cork, which is a little expensive, I think, to obtain. It's more expensive than, than, than producing the screw cap. Sold, that's cute. Again, definitely a misdirect, because you think this is shortening in the Crisco sense, but no, it's a uh, teaspoon has been shortened there. Yeah, so these sciencey ones are, are good, because for me, okay, force, maybe that's easy. Maybe Dmitry Mendeleev is too. Um, maybe it's not a sciencey thing, it's just a uh, common thing. It's me again, it's nice. Yeah. Not much to complain about, I don't think. Marin County. Yeah, I, I thought it was Marin County. Which is kind of amazing. Um, it's near San Francisco, right? Yeah. It's north of San Francisco. I, I don't really know where the, where the Mirror Woods are. I guess they have to be somewhere, somewhere around here. Yeah, they're just north of San Francisco. Shout out to my San Francisco friends, uh, Oriana, Rice Hornet, John, Liz, and lots of other people. <laughs> Gordo AM, etc. I, uh, I need to visit San Francisco at some point. Again, I should say. Asa. Yeah, never gonna get random Spanish pronoun. Knob meaning head. Okay. Paper hats is fun, so is Let's Dig In. Yeah, this really now just is about baseball. Oftentimes, the ballpark fig is how they clue EST for estimate. Um, maybe that's actually the misdirect, but I'm so used to it that I thought it would be estimates here. Catered. Yeah, fire pits are fun. Chia seeds. Well, it's hard to parse, actually. Keg stands. I gotta say, it's all, um... It's pretty funny. Natural page. Tygon, yeah. The difference between a Tygon and a Liger, is it... Which one is the mother and which one is the father? Yeah, a Tygon or Tyglon is a hybrid offspring of a male tiger and a female lion. So male tiger, what about a liger? Male lion, female tiger, yeah. I wonder if that's... I wonder if you always name the father species first when you do these kinds of... portmanteau. Yeah, I thought this would be state. That's cute. His jerseys are a kind of cow. Yeah, nice puzzle. This this I feel like this northwest section was actually was actually quite hard. Um, none of these are really that obvious. I just got lucky. Just got just lucky enough. So happy with that. Uh, but fun fun puzzle. Faster than faster than Thursday and almost. <laughs> Almost exactly the same time as Wednesday. So that's fast for a Friday for me. I'm not really a fast Friday kind of guy. Although I do enjoy Fridays quite a bit. Leaderboard for tomorrow, we have stickers and Mar X. What about on the old secret leaderboard? We have Kimball and Namgo. So lots of people doing the puzzle. Nice to see you all on the leaderboard. Feel pretty good about my times today. So, right. And tomorrow, I think I'm definitely not going to post at 10. Uh, Brian's gonna be in town. He's going. We're both actually going to a, a UCSD friend's wedding this weekend. Then we're gonna go visit two other friends who are also in town for the wedding. So might post even Saturday morning. I think it's possible for the Saturday puzzle. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Saturday puzzles. See you then.